So I'm gonna I'm gonna chat a little bit about what Play It Fair means to the City of Toronto Parks, Forestry, and Recreation, and uh, just to talk a little bit about before Play It Fair came along, we really had no uh, tangible method of, of of solving issues that came up in our in our day camps, issues of of racism, issues of exclusion, uh, issues of discrimination. Uh, since uh, since the Play It Fair pro program has been implemented, we now have uh, a, a, a toolkit. Uh, a, a vehicle, I guess, for um, for solving some of those issues. Uh, the uh, the toolkit has 63 games, which are now used in camps all across the city of Toronto. Uh, currently, at about 80 percent of our camps, um, and uh, we've had great success uh, in in implementing it. Uh, and not only uh, for our campers, um, uh, but for our staff. Uh, it's it's a great tool to train our staff. Uh, we're finally talking in Parks and Recreation about human rights, uh, sort of on a day-to-day -day level, uh, where before, I, you know, I don't think people even realize that children had uh, sort of uh, human rights. So um, that's a, a hugely positive thing uh, for us in, in a city that is incredibly diverse. Uh, some of the neighborhoods where we've implemented uh, it are some of the most uh, diverse in the world. Um, I mean, secondly, uh, it's it's an opportunity to to uh, expose our children and our staff to games, um, and and from those games, uh, it leads into a discussion of the values that the that the program is based upon, um, and it's it's just been an excellent excellent experience uh, for, for all of our staff, our children, uh, and the families that we work with.